So, Canadian-born architect Thomas Jefferson survives on this. Opium? Ooh, no, it was criminal numerals. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Can I ask what are criminal numerals? <laughs> You know, when there's like a criminal getting their picture taken, holding a bunch of numerals in front. <laughs> this author describes himself as having put the World Series on TV. <laughs> um, maybe Hunter S. Thompson? No, I'm sorry. It was Chandler Nixon, 19th president. <laughs> of course. The lesser-known Nixon brother. <laughs> yeah. This one's a visual clue, oh. but we don't have a visual for you. Okay. Uh, Nashville sitcoms seen here won the 1987 Nobel Prize for this. The Country Music Hall of Fame? <laughs> no, sorry. It was the 1987 Nobel Prize for food. Oh, what? California cheese is also known by this nickname. American cheese? Nope. California cheese is also known as black rubber. <laughs> Ew, that sounds like a drug thing. <laughs> this is a two-parter question. In 2006, this spider constructed his last performance of the French Revolution in love on this day. All right, so the spider's got to be Charlotte of Charlotte's Web fame. <laughs> and I'll say it was on Bastille Day. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. It was it was Black Widow West Point on June 1st. All right. Uh, in 1995, Ivana Trump was the first woman to make tea in this state capital. <laughs> Albany? Ooh, no. She was the second woman to make tea in Albany. She was the first woman to make tea in Honolulu. <laughs> Taming of the sitcom was published for this potato woman. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Potato Head? No, I'm sorry. It was Governor Canadian Potpourri Monroe. <laughs> Who can forget a name like that? Frosty the New Boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, official new name for snowmen. Frosty the New Boy is the title of this comedy short by Roald Dahl. Um, is it Frosty the New Boy? No, I'm sorry. It's a hoopla in Southern California. <laughs> Oh, it was a satire. <laughs> Central American countries united these guys to win an Oscar. Cast and crew of, um, The Revenant? Nope. It was Obama and Lucky Luciano. <laughs> oh, man, I want to see that film. Well, do, you, do you know by any chance the, the name of the film that they won the Oscar for? It was called Obama and Lucky Luciano. <laughs> oh, wow, man, a buddy cop film. Drive in the Indy 500. And the dead man called Harris will make these guys finish first. Um, is it Obama and Lucky <laughs> Luciano? Ooh, I wish. It's in fact little alien invaders from Omaha. <laughs> Fathers belong to this order of mammals. Homo sapiens? I'm sorry, the answer is Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that makes a lot of sense. Chickenpox takes Sylvester Stallone on the Broadway stage in this 1993 tearjerker. Rocky IV? Oh, I'm sorry, it's Cuckold Sailors, a beach movie. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you thought you might leave home, this famous explorer helped. <laughs> Magellan? Lloyd Horseback. Oh. <laughs> how could you so quickly forget how much he helped you? I don't know. Man, her husband Charles played Irish Harry Potter in this play. All right, I need to backtrack it a little bit. Also, I'm going to need a title and an author. Wait, what's the question? Man, her husband Charles played... Oh, it's a two-part... I forgot about her husband. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was thinking of a lady's name. Well, you are now. This is a three-part question, I suppose. Do you All need right. a recap? Her husband Charles played Irish Harry Potter in this play. Irish Harry Potter. We'll say that was a character in Hamilton. <laughs> played by the husband of... Catherine Zeta Jones. So I'm sorry, but the lady you were looking for was Kimberly Santa Maria. And the play <laughs> <Okay>. was Memory <laughs> Memories of Texas by Raul Dahl. <laughs> he did have a lot of memories of Texas. Seltzer comes from this part of the grape. Of the grape? <laughs> yes. Um, the skin? 
were looking a little more internal. It was the tonsils. <laughs> oh, you. <ew. laughs> Electricity hockey is called bumper shoots by this formerly wingless kickboxer. I don't know any kickboxers, <laughs> let alone one that is only formerly wingless. Kangaroo Jack? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Sally Ride. Hmm, she did grow her wings. Oh, that actually kind of makes sense. Lord Byron wrote, Vivian is the most popular baby name in this central London network. Um, oh shit, what were those people called? <laughs> Can't remember what the people that Lord Byron hung out with was called, so I'm gonna say the Bloomsbury group. He was just spreading some shit around. <laughs> nope, it was the Heathrow Joe. <laughs> Heathrow Joe's famous literary circle. <laughs> Vivian was the most popular baby name among them. <laughs> May 14th is the first time you can quote this author. <laughs> it's like a can't wear white after Labor Day kind of thing. <laughs> Lord Byron. Nope. Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Generous Coleman author. I mean, did he write books? I don't know. Maybe he did. <laughs> okay, it's another two-parter. I love my two-parters. Disgrace this man's time in Calcutta by... <laughs> By drawing this communist thumbless. Wait, this is the first word disgrace? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a two parter, but also a command. <laughs> I'll go with Gandhi and Stalin. <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the, the first man is Mills Macbeth, and the communist in question is Grandmaster Cocktail Adrenaline. <laughs> the famous communist bartender. <laughs> bartender DJ. Name that stooge. The one. <laughs> the one that really questions the Bible in his late teens. <laughs> oh, I think that was something Curly did. You know, I'm not quite familiar with the Three Stooges, so this might have been his real name, but the answer I have here is Alfredo Jumbo. <laughs> he definitely looks like someone whose name would be Alfredo Jumbo. <laughs> I'm gonna say you got that one right. Robots of Cincinnati said that birds choose their roles in this film say birds. It's not what the robots of Cincinnati say. They say that birds choose their roles in Grandfather and the Wallflowers. It's like a spin-off, but it's from the grandfather's perspective. Is there a grandfather who works at being a wallflower? I've never read or seen it. Hey, if the robots of Cincinnati say so, who are we to judge?